But some of you don't really want to pay four or five or even six hundred dollars for them scalpers that charge for these Nintendo Switch consoles. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can get your Switch for regular MSRP, which is three hundred dollars. Stay tuned and listen closely to each step because each one is critical for you to get your Nintendo Switch. In the link down below in the description, I'm going to leave some websites so that you can take a look on how you can get your Nintendo Switch a little bit easier. And I'm going to tell you why it's a little bit easier using some of the websites that I have linked down below. Because it kind of gives you an alert when something comes in stock. My number one tip is you want to look at Best Buy between 8 to 11 a.m. Central Time. Because that's the time when Best Buy really restocks all our products. And what I found is one of the easier things to do is if you talk to one of the customer rep uh, representatives, especially a home advisor, because when you speak to one of those home advisors or the home managers or the sales managers, they want to sell you that switch because they get a little commission off of it. Don't worry because you're still paying regular price for that switch. And when you talk to them, they're going to see if they have it in stock where they can order it for you. So. Make sure you try to contact your Best Buy in live chat and I'll leave that link down in the description down below as well. In my experience when I talk to Best Buy or I look on their website, you can see you could actually scroll down and sometimes you'll, you'll see sold out, sold out for whatever switch that you're looking for. Sometimes you'll get lucky and then you'll see add to cart. When you see add to cart, quickly add it to the cart, but do not try to check out on the website because if you try to check out on the website, it will erase it from your cart. So what you need to do is you have to download the Best Buy app on your phone. If you download the Best Buy app on your phone, when it's in stock, make sure you check out in the app because it will not delete it. It will just say it's sold out and just close out the app or force close it out when it asks you to remove it out the cart. Also, another thing I highly recommend to do is make sure you add all your payment information onto all the uh, all the retailers that I will mention in this video because if you save all your payment information you can quickly check out as soon as it's in stock and maybe you'll get lucky and score one because I know it's been difficult to get it and I wish you the best and I really hope you get your switch but make sure you add all your payment information and make sure you have the correct shipping information because it's critical uh, when you check out because if you try to check out, and the minute that you have to change up your payment information, that switch is gone. It's already sold. Someone else wants it just as bad as you do. So make sure that you add all your payment information before you try to add a switch into your car and check out with it. For Best Buy, you want to make sure you check between 8 to 11 a.m. Central Time. Number two, you want to talk to a home advisor. If you talk, talk to a home advisor, usually they'll be a little bit more friendly. Instead of saying, hey, how may I assist you? You'll get, hey, I'm a this is Chris from uh, Best Buy. This is a home advisor manager. I'm here to service you. Usually those are the service reps you wanna talk to because those are the ones that are more likely trying to get you your help that they wanna help you get your switch. So you wanna speak to one of them. So number three, the other thing you can do is you wanna go into your cart uh, you want to go onto that page while you're looking for the Nintendo Switch. And when it says sold out, just keep taking a look on it. I mean, you can click into it, you want to click out, and then eventually maybe you get lucky and you see the add to cart. If you see add to cart, just click it. And do not try to check out right then and there because more than likely, it'll probably end up uh, kick, erasing it out your cart. So you want to make sure that it's in stock and you want to confirm that by uh, checking the website that I have down below to help you make sure that it's in stock. Uh, another thing too is uh, if it's in stock, you'll see it say uh, shipping to your zip code and it'll say shipping to your local store. If it is not in stock, you will not see those options. As you can see here, that's what it should say. If it does not say that, uh, then you cannot uh, purchase the item. It's gonna give you a hard time and it'll try to erase it out your cart. So those are the things that you wanna to try to get it from Best Buy. Number two is on the website is where I got lucky on was uh, I ordered from GameStop and GameStop has these bundles. Now some of these bundles are not really 
uh, for everybody because some of them could go four to five hundred dollars maybe you don't want that whole bundle or maybe you don't like what's in that bundle but you, on this website it gives you an alert and as soon as it does you could actually pre-order the bundle a GameStop's it's a lot less um, complicated as soon as they post it up on their website you can just pre-order it once you pre-order it make sure you just same thing you want to have all your payment information saved on gamestop so that way you can get get your copy you can pre-order your copy of the system that you have the right to your system because as soon as you try to add your payment information, guess what? Someone else already bought it. They already thought ahead of you. They already got their payment information in. I'm not a big fan of GameStop. Uh, it's probably the first thing I purchased from GameStop, maybe about like five or six years since. But um, that so that's how you can get GameStop. That's how you can pre-order on GameStop. But just to let you know, their customer service is non-existent you try to email call them they will not pick up the phone they will not respond to your email so it's pointless to even try to talk to gamestop that's but number two is gamestop if and another thing too with them uh even though it says the date they'll tell you that you should get your system between april 30th for example they might ship it before then you might get lucky although they'll ship it within that next week but you will not get your tracking information probably about a week later. And once you do, just know that you'll get your system a lot sooner than you know. So that's number two. GameStop is a great option to get your Nintendo Switch. Okay, so number three is Target. That's another retailer that you can get your Nintendo Switch at. And it's an excellent place to look. And let me tell you how I found my Switch is through Target. I was into the app and you know how you can look up items and it will tell you what aisle it's in and if your store has it in stock and guess what my store had it in stock do not try to purchase it online because they will not let you uh pick it up because they told me my item was unavailable as you can see here because i tried to check out and i thought i scored i thought i had a really easy shot and guess what i didn't so i took the chance and i decided to drive over to the target and I was there probably about an hour early. So you want to make sure you are there at least an hour early because guess what? There's a there's already a line there. There's already people waiting. And but when I did arrive there, there was no line. But I did see they already had these marks for people to line up. And I thought, you know, it's gonna be an easy shot. So I just sat there waiting in the car because it was pretty uh windy and cold that morning when I went to go pick it up, which was about probably like that Friday, no, not Friday, it was that Thursday. I went that Thursday to go try to pick it up. So I was just sitting in my car, listening to music. And then all of a sudden, like about, probably like 20 after seven, I saw people start to line up. And I thought, I, got, I better get up and uh, get into the line because otherwise I can miss my opportunity. So when I went over there, by the time I got in the line, I was probably like the sixth person waiting in the line which I should have been one of the first people really there. But because of how I underestimated people waiting for the Switch, that was my fault. So I thought, let me give it a shot, give it a chance. If I miss it, at least I tried. But luckily I got into the store and we had to line up in the, we had to line up information and everything six feet apart. So there was a big, big line. So other people that want the Switch just as bad as you do. So make sure you get up early, uh, at least an hour early, because there was people coming thinking that they got there early when they arrived 10, uh, five, 10 minutes early. And luckily when we arrived, they actually had a pallet of switches. So they probably had like maybe about 50 switches and there was people calling up. I, and I also heard a manager, don't try to even try to call up and ask them to hold it for you because they will say no. You have to arrive first come first serve kind of deal when you try to go get that switch. So don't even try to call them to see if they have it in stock. Just go to the store and try to pick one off because the, by the time you're calling them and trying to get them to hold it, there's someone driving to that target and trying to pick up that switch that you want so badly. And by the way, when I did look to see if it was in stock, I saw it, I, I constantly checked the app. I checked my Target app because I do have the red card and everything. I checked the Target app to see if they had it in stock, probably like around nine or 10 o'clock at night. And luckily I saw it. 
that they had in stock. They said in stock, then switched over a limited quantity, and then said in stock. But make sure you check out the app. Don't try to order it online because you will not score it there. Another retailer that's good to look at is at Walmart. Walmart's an excellent uh, retailer to take a look at it. But the tip is with them, you have to make sure you download the app. Because I gotta say, the website is terrible. You will not be able to find anything on there. You got so many other people, you got third party sellers and everything on that website. So do on, on walmart.com. So try not to uh, focus on that. Try to switch up your filters and then have it under walmart.com and look at your local store on the app because it's much more better because it will tell you what's in stock. It will show whatever is in stock at your local Walmart because on my local Walmart, they only had switch lights, which nobody really wanted. I mean, I of course I didn't want it because the whole point of having the switch was to hook it up to the TV and have people over and have fun and everything. Do not try to use the website. Don't try to use their website's terrible, use the app instead. That's my tip with Walmart. Um, also, same thing, make sure you check every night because usually they uh, restock their shelves at night. So when you check uh, when you check later at night, late at night, usually you'll see some pop up. If you do, I, I would assume the same thing with Walmart. I, didn't, I, I haven't tried personally to try to go pick it up at the Walmart, but if you do, Make sure you go get there early because I'm pretty sure there's a line just like how it was for me when I went to the Target. And there's one more place that I gotta mention that's another good place to go is if you go to Costco. Costco actually has uh, Nintendo Switches and I heard people were lucky enough to even pick up the Animal Crossing Switch which everybody's been trying, uh, dying to get. And I, I almost scored one on uh, Best Buy's website but and then I'm removing it out the cart because I tried to purchase it on the website, which I regret. But anyway, the whole point is if you go to Costco or BJ's, they might have the Nintendo Switch as well over there, but also uh, get there early. That's the best tip I can give you if you go to any of those retailers. Do not try to go like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. If you do manage to get one, that's great. I feel happy for you. Uh, but right now it's gonna be very very difficult to get one in the afternoon try to get there before open now down below The link that I'm talking about that I have posted down below if they tell you that the Nintendo switch is in stock in one of the stores It will tell you if it's in stock at GameStop or Best Buy or Walmart or Target and as soon You could set an alert on that website and you could even have it on a mobile browser because it works It works great on a mobile browser too so make sure you have the alert set on. And personally, I have the uh, the bird because the rooster for me is a little bit annoying, but it's called Zoolert. And if you go on Zoolert, you get the notification as soon as it opens up in stock. And if you're lucky enough, you hop in there and then you see where it's in stock, you have a chance to purchase it online. Now, usually it doesn't pop up for Target. Like I said, it doesn't really work for the Target ones. Or, even the Walmart ones aren't really great. Walmart's more of a local thing. Check, but the Best Buys are pretty accurate and so is the GameStops. Those are the tips. Don't waste your time with those other ones because they don't really work. They don't really alert you as well. But um, those are the best ways you can get your Nintendo Switch that you don't have to pay for retail for it. And more than likely you will definitely succeed if you really want that switch and you do exactly what i tell you you will definitely find it because i found it within the week of uh searching really hard for it so this is the nintendo switch super happy with it definitely worth the wait and i can't believe i didn't buy one on launch because this thing's amazing how you can play it portably and you can play it on the tv but anyway um if you want the switch bad enough i'm sure you'll get your switch I hope you found this video very useful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to post it down in the comments down below. For all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you did, make sure you give it a, give it a thumbs up. And also, uh, if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Other than that, this is Chris Mizo signing yeah. out. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>
do this. Me and you can do it. See how much better it is? If me and you do it. 